All right, so this is how I always make sure that I have got moral mushrooms year to year. This is very simple. I do it pretty much every year. What I'm doing is I'm taking, um, on a big scale, I got a five gallon bucket and on a small scale, I've got my blender that I use in my kitchen. Now, some people are gonna complain and say, you shouldn't use that blender, but you know what? I do and I'm still here. What I do is I take some wood ash that's in my outdoor fire ring and I put about a scoopful, this is a gardening shovel, about a scoopful in my blender. In my five gallon bucket, I put numerous scoopfuls in there. Then we move on to the next stage. Over here on the ground, I got some old wood chips that got dumped there, oh, I don't know, two years ago. Fell out of a wheelbarrow, and they've been laying here ever since. And I've already put a few scoops in the five gallon bucket, but on the smaller scale, we want to put a few into our blender. How many is a few? Um, about this many maybe about half of that actually about half of a handful see where we're at now okay now i need to go find a moral mushroom and on my scouting hike this morning i pretty much already know where those are at i ain't even picked them yet so let me set my blender up here where the cat will hopefully stay out of it. And we'll go for a walk. I can go ahead and put the lid back on this. And let's go for a walk. So, uh, That's showing up right there. Moral mushroom. Growing in the wild. We're going to snatch him up. We're not going to snatch all of him up. As you can see, I left part of him in there. Here's the part. Next step is, excuse my messy kitchen. Put your one moral mushroom into your blender. Now I got some water, dump it in there. As you can tell. Now with the water in there, the important part is my size of my moral mushroom is the part that needs to be like eh I'm gonna call that good anyways quick chop you just want to mix it up I'll take you to the next step which is basically we're gonna pour this in our five gallon bucket add more water to it then an aquarium air pump with a bubble stone that we're going to turn on with some molasses, which I forgot to put in there. We'll put the molasses on, which feeds the spores um, when I do the five gallon bucket. Two tablespoons. Then we'll turn it on and aerate it for 24 hours. This is actually the molasses I use. Go ahead and put it in with your blender mix. Two tablespoons and then just briefly turn the blender on to mix it up. Next, we're going to dump this into our five gallon bucket. And then we're going to fill our five gallon bucket with more water. 
Sadly, it's kind of dark down in my dungeon. So you're probably not going to be able to see too well. However, this is a water hose. This is my bucket. We're going to add water to this. You ever notice how you always got to go pee when you're putting water in something? That's not fair. I'm going to call this good because I actually got some other stuff I want to do. Huh, there must have been some cigarette butts in the uh, ashes of the uh, fire ring. Anyways, let me get my air stone and aquarium pump and I'll be right back here you can see I've got an aquarium air pump hooked up to a bubble rock down inside this that we're going to let run for 24 hours so it is 4 15 p.m. right now we'll come back out tomorrow around the same time and shut this compressor uh, aquarium pump off once you do that, you take what is in this bucket and you mix it 20 to 1 with water and spread it in the places where you want moral mushrooms to grow. Alright, so we got a storm rolling in and I want to get this done before the storm starts. Back to our bucket of our moral mushroom inoculation you know that you are successful in inoculating many spores of mushrooms when you see foam forming on the top of it now the way that you do this is the way most people do it they take a quart jar and fill it up add it to a five gallon bucket then fill the rest of the bucket up with plain water and then they take that five gallon bucket around and spread it around wherever they want moral mushrooms to grow. However, I'm going to do this a little bit different. I got a two gallon watering pail and a pint jar, which is half of a quart, I think. <laughs> Man, memory loss, weak from the cancer. I honestly, I, I wouldn't want to carry a five gallon bucket full of water. I'd be around 40 or 50 pounds pretty decent distances I don't want to do it so I reduce it by half the way you do it you scoop it out add it to your jar chunks and all are fine then we're going to take this dilute it with water Now that we got it diluted, we're going to take this and we're going to go pour it in all the areas that we want moral mushrooms to grow. Now, if you got areas that you know moral mushrooms grow, that's great. I got a couple areas. Um basically what i do when i do this i'm reseeding and making sure that i'm reseeding where moral mushrooms already grow out on my property i'm just adding back so that more grow now once you do this it's not necessarily going to happen overnight it might take a year or two before you actually start getting moral mushrooms in those areas but you know all what i'm ensuring is that I, I'm not, I'm always going to have moral mushrooms. So, I add moral mushrooms to nearly all my raised beds. You can see that didn't even put a lot on there. You know, and 
in a cup of water there's probably hundreds of thousands <laughs> of uh, spores now that we've let it multiply inside that our inoculation button and then when it rains here in a few minutes that's going to also help it even more now what these are these are pawpaw beds and pawpaws are already known to have a symbiotic relationship with fungus so hey Let's see if we can get some morals to grow in these. And then I also take and do the same thing to various places. I'm not going to show you where they're at. But if you watch my how I find moral mushrooms, every place that I find moral mushrooms, I do this exact same thing. I take it. I put more spores back where i found moral mushrooms at sometimes i just randomly put spores and uh a good example is is over here in our bed that we're going to be doing i'm hoping to get it done before it rains i'm going to cover up this new bed that i'm making for you guys if you don't have a place on your property that grows moral mushrooms you can make a bed that allows you to grow them and uh I've actually got, let's see, I need to cover it with straw, but I could go ahead and inoculate it today, and then that rain we get is going to help even uh, soak into the ground even farther, the rain we're going to get here in a little bit, and then basically I cover that area with straw and just wait, and maybe I'll get more mushrooms probably next year or the year after in that area, and as long as you do this, you know, it only takes one or two moral mushrooms. You inoculate it in a five-gallon bucket to create billions of spores. And then you use a quart or a pint of that watered down into another mixture so you can spread it out farther. And you spread them pores all over the place. Anywhere you think moral mushrooms will grow, spread it out. And uh, if everything works out, in a year or two, you should have moral mushrooms. So that's what I wanted to update so I could finish this video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this done. It's getting ready to rain. You can see up there. Actually, I hear thunder already. So let me get off here and get this done. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Hear that thunder? Let me get this done.